Hey there everyone, Audio Knight here, and welcome to the reboot of my channel. We're going to start with Dust, an Elysian Tale. Playing this on the computer using a PS3 controller, which was horrible to set up. Okay, sports auto saving. I think we'll just stick with tough for right now. I don't want to. I don't want to proclaim that I'm hardcore without Our proving world it first. Has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise, has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this our most desperate hour that the greatest of Elysian tales began. They said the title! The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldiers... This is me playing! But despite his victory, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Ah, so pretty. Dust, dust, arise. To ashes? What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that it's a talking sword, obviously. You just said what it was. How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Ara, you getting anywhere with this? Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget. Guardian of the sword. Ah, let's so let's be nice to fidget. Sword. I am the blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! <laughs> the winner gets the sword! Hmm. Yes, let me challenge the person who has the sword so that I can get the sword, even though I am clearly unarmed in every regard, except that I have little tiny arms. Well, I... <laughs> all right, all right, you win. But well, that was easy. I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? Slaughtering millions! Slide to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Maybe I should that skip this. Give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Okay. Now, give me approximately 1.5 seconds to figure out if there's any options I need to tweak. And we're back! Okay, so I've played this game a bit before. Look at little bunnies! Oh my god, little bunnies! I played this game a little bit before. It's very, it's, it's very much a Metroidvania game. Um... You may notice that my face is in the bottom left of the screen because my other stuff's up up there. Didn't want to block that. Nothing interesting happens in the bottom left, don't worry. It's all good. Man, that was like three minutes of exposition. The Glade. Press 8, yeah, I already figured that out, but thank you, game. Okay, that is something that I had forgotten. Wait, what's down here? Is it a wall chicken? 
No. Believe me, it's it's not a Metroidvania for nothing. No, no. Wait, what? Why is that not? Okay, you can't. <gasps> wall chicken. Not just any wall chicken, a mysterious wall chicken. Okay, so, yeah. Item pickups appear in the bottom left, but yeah, that that's whatever. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Dead people? Oh, it's just treasure. Oh, actually, it's not. Okay. I thought it was treasure. Oh. Okay. No! Okay, I just ate my wall chicken. My my only source of nutrition. And I just devoured it. Mysterious wall chickens are definitely a Castlevania touch. Could have sworn there was something. Ah, okay, get another one. Note added. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to s treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there's enough time to free them all. Treasure chest. All right, we found a chest. I oh, found a chest. We found a locked chest. Okay, he's well, he's right too. For? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. Well, then what good are you? Yes, we need a key. Oh, lucky me, I have a key. So difficult. Alright, um... Look, okay, I'm not Samus Aran, okay? I can't turn into a little tiny ball and roll around. Although that would be adorable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh dear. Th that's a golden deer. Holy crap. Hello, deer. What is that? Oh god. Hobgoblins. <laughs> Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. I've only learned how to dash and to jump. <laughs> I like her idea better. It's more applicable to real situations. Whoa, okay, I thought I just got shot. <laughs> Didn't you just you plow through this forest to get to me? And with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. Yeah, Dust. Don't be such an egotistical monsters. prick. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters. Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. Damn right they are. And to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're gonna need them. Oh, thank you. You know, even though I literally didn't take a scratch that time. So yeah, it's a, uh, from whence it came, the button mashing combo. <laughs> Very much a Metroidvania game, in many regards. You know, it's an action RPG. Now, what is unusual about this game is that it was entirely made, I think, by one dude. Or at least by a very small number of dudes slash dudettes. And, uh... It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, look, there's even little butterflies just floating around. I, it's, it's incredible to think that one, that 
like this is not just an entire professional company, I don't think. I could be wrong. No, I want to do the ground throw. Okay, so I need to not do button mashing. But, um, I played this game quite a bit in the past. I think I maybe got 40% through it. And, uh, it's, it's not a very difficult game, but I was playing it on normal before. And you'll, you'll have noticed that at the beginning I said that this is a reboot of this channel. Well, this is one of the games I tried to play on the last reboot. Unfortunately, there were massive complications and I wasn't able to release any of them. He just dodged me. That is not cool. Run, bunny. Flee this place. Alright. And last time I played it on tough. And it was a bit of a wake-up call. Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. <laughs> so impressive. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. But why am I skilled? In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Perhaps fear and anguish and... <sighs> Embarrassment. <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. Oh, don't strain yourself, Bidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate the- Okay, thank you. <sighs> wow! Oh. oh! By the way, every time I use my- I was hoping maybe I could skip this. <laughs> yes, Dust. Oh, I can just mash A and skip right. it. If this is all too- Thanks, fidgets. Okay. Thank you, but I, I think I can master basic gameplay mechanics. Perhaps not, though. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. As I was saying, it's not a very, very hard game, but it, it, on tough at the very beginning when you have no upgrades, it can be quite, uh, where's all my, where's all my food? There we go. It can be pretty bad, and I don't, I don't want to die yet, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, this is a, uh, it's a re-reboot. Last time didn't go so well. Also, since this has been a very dialogue-heavy uh, episode, I'm going to start this one out a little bit longer than what, what I would like for to be the norm. These will usually be about 15 minutes long, but this has just been a... You know, this, this has been quite a talkative episode. And if there's nothing pertaining completely to the plot, I'll probably end up skipping it later. But yeah. I like how he holds a sword. I've always been a fan of uh, characters that hold their so their weaponry in unorthodox ways. Not necessarily like, oh, let's hold the mace by the head. You know, that might be a little. How do I do? Hmm. Okay, so it's the same as the in air. Or as, a, as the ground throw combo. Um, but yeah, this game is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm, I'm definitely not the first person to ever <laughs> make that statement about this game. 
if you've never played this game, do yourself a favor. Get this game. It is. Hey, you just leveled up. Oh, is cool. That what I did? I Feels think... good. Um. I'll level up my defense. Because that's one of those things that uh, stops me from dying. Stupid game interrupted my train of thought. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Get this game. If you're at all a fan of Metroidvanias, anything like that, get this game. They chased, and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg, they caught up with me at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go. I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. And then I died. Oh, I was hoping I, I was hoping I could keep that little chain going. I don't I don't know if I can aim that at all. I don't think so. <gasps> How dare you! Sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to get hit more than I really necessarily have to. But yeah, I mean, for the actual game itself, there's not too much to say. I mean, you start out as an amnesiac protagonist, who you're alluded to have done some pretty terrible things in your past life. Where's the treasure at? Do you not show me the treasure? Oh, okay, I get it. I just didn't know the legend. Oh, it's really beautiful up here. Yeah. Way to sell your own game, buddy. I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all of my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. The sass is strong with this one. Sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. No, you shouldn't. You didn't do nothing. Trouble. You know, now that I think about it, then perhaps... Okay. It's hard to make out for... Very well. If you want to read any of that, feel free to just pause the video right there. I got a schedule to stick to. Got time to time to not waste by wasting it playing video games. Whew. Whoa, what was that? Was that- did that du did Dusty yell that out? Okay, he did, actually. Whoa, you can- you can kind of see a little bit of his face whenever he's in mid, uh... Mid-roar. Oh, so you can't magically destroy those? Thanks a lot, Fidget. I remember seeing a description of this game as Castlevania with furries. And I'm not gonna lie, that's fairly accurate. Can I get up there? No? Okay. I hate how the enemies can dodge, I don't remember them doing that as much when I played this through the very first time. I remember it not being quite... Oh god, I hope the power doesn't go out. Uh, when I get to the end of this, uh... When I get to the end of this map, I'll cut this episode. 
so that I don't lose it completely. Oh, come on, stop dodging! Bastard. I heat up in red as I spin my sword around. You'd think he could cool himself down a little bit by that. But I guess not. Maybe. I guess he's gusting it towards the other people. Excuse me. More defense. More, more, more defense. <laughs> Don't tell me there's no escape. Okay, I know there's supposed to be a little bit more of a another save point around here. What's this? Aerial Dust Storm. Oh yeah, I remember that. It's a good little skill to have right there. Whoa. I don't know if that's coming through, but uh thunders are rumbling outside. Okay, well I'm going to end this episode here so I don't lose the past 20 minutes of footage I've been recording. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Leave some comments down in the description. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be playing a horror game here soon. Down in the comments below, let me know. Would you rather see SCP Containment Breach, Never Ending Nightmares, or Penumbra? Alright, take care y'all.